Hello guys, Thomas Timo here. This is episode 5 of um, Sky Odyssey and I have um, built a base basically rather than messing around on what we were on which was pretty ugly I thought I'd take some time out today rip it all apart and change it up a bit so we've got four platforms at the moment across the top here um, I think I'm going to try some Britannia on this one we've got our animals in that one and we have um, not quite sure what to do with this um, this one here at the moment yeah maybe it might be I don't know some kind of um, industrial craft if that's what's still called um, so this is what I built off camera oh I've actually uh, this so down here we have the um, another portal bit big quieting down I might move this at some point depending on what I'm going to do in this area we've got no wall here or anything so got to go a bit careful we don't run off the edge um, so yeah this area is just kind of the nether portal but I've been through and there is um, nothing there so I don't know whether you open something up and Um, oh wow, uh, got a few zombie men <laughs> spawned and one of our chickens gone through. I don't know which way I'm facing now. Let me back in. I am um, completely stuck. There it is there, isn't that? The only thing I can try and do... Well, at least I'll get out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, too many zombie pigmen. Okay, so, um, yeah, don't know what to do about that, maybe, I think even if I knock it down it'll still be there. Um, so yes, there's another portal, and we have now an area below here, which is what I'm going to use for the sort of thumbcraft altar thing, there's also blood magic and I don't know what other ones there are in the pack at the moment so that's what that room's there is for we'll have to find out whether the, what the nether is worth even going to otherwise I'll just take them down okay so that is a tour of the base basically um, so I built this to make power a, load, a bunch of power and just filled it up with charcoal blocks um, it, that was filled up but this just takes an infinite ma amount of energy that, so I'm building a coin a second basically through that and it's also been running this junk which is noisy junk basically <laughs> to um, put a muffler next to it and you can still hear how loud it is um, so I've used this to make ender IO stuff so I've got it all, it's all in here. So this episode, what my plan was to make Ender IO solar panels. And then I ditched that because there's a load and load of crafting on them and they are not EMC. So 
what I have done instead is made it's in the box here I have got faintest idea how you um, use it I've seen how you build it um, on their wiki so a solar array so I thought we might do that so I don't know what I've got let's take that basalt and we'll build it up so the, the idea is I'm going to build this here and then in a minute when I go down below you'll see that I've joined everything up below with a corridor and the corridor is where all the pipes and things like that are going to run so um, I know you've got to have four of these null modifier things um, what am I doing here Let's not bother with that. No, I've got pickaxe. And one of those. I'll just build it straight on the ground. So it said that you've got like four of these going around this so I presume that we plant that down there and I don't know whether that is going like that and then assemble the false do that that, that, three left, let's go around this side, and then we've got to have 16 of these, so I may build Depending on how much power we need to start off with. Right. So is that is that working? I have no idea. So one, two. RF, nothing. Assembled false. Well, that's what it said I had to do. Maybe I'll put those things on wrong. Um, I'll have to take another look. Right, guys, I found out what's wrong. But I'm going to build it higher because it's taking up too much space on my corner. Right. So basically, yep, these things have got to go on these corners. So, I oh, don't know whether you heard that then. But, uh, right. Um, that, 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 that. Okay.
There's one of those gone. Probably down the hole. There we go. Right, so get hopefully getting somewhere now. Right, does not be nice if it popped up with something to say. It's working. Yes, it is working. Nice. Is that still going to work like that? I wonder. Not so bad. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. So that's given us 100 something RF per tick. So we'll upgrade those, or I might put one on each corner and then upgrade them from there because they don't take don't take that much. I've got three point. Eight million, am I? So it was. Yeah, I'll do that off screen because you already watched me build one of those, haven't you? So let's get some pipe work in, and maybe I'll get rid of this lot here, and we'll move over there. Ender IO. At Ender, did I make? I didn't make the conduits. So we want energy to start off with, don't we? So that is the iron and the conduit binder. Pretty sure that's got EMC. Has that? It does have. Bang that in there then. Um, have they still got their um, capacitors? Room of capacity. Yeah, there they are. Basic capacitor bank. Basic capacitor bank. Basic capacitor bank. Oh, that one's full up. What does it take? I think I've made those. So I think we can make some of those. Um, so that's a capacitor, some iron, and a redstone. Two, three, four. Iron. Take a stack of that. Red. Okay. Uh, 
that's that. What's the next one up? That one. So that's two of those. Oh, a double layer. I made one of those. You can go in there. What's it take to make a double layer? Two single ones, some coal, and a cut of energetic alloy. Cap. Two of those. Coal. Pulverized coal. And. And uh, two of those, wasn't it? Yes. So we'll pop that in there. So I think we needed two of those. Double layer and six of the energy. Double layer. Four, five, six. Okay, Let's throw you in. Five. I'm pretty sure we can join these together. Let's go for twelve. Back of the energy conduit. I think we'll go in this way. Don't know whether I'll get a reach up if I go down there at the moment. This three high, otherwise it might be quite difficult. So now, if I was to put our capacitor banks, there. not get one on top. I fill it up. Need some more. Okay, um, whack a stack eight, is what we need, and then pop them back. I think it might only need one connection actually. Probably, maybe not that one. Take these off. And we 
can see what we got going in there because the line will go up nice okay so I don't know what this UI um, powers I presume it powers um, don't know <laughs> find out at some point I suppose right so we are powered powered up that is nice okay Can go in there. I'm gonna keep these because what I was gonna do is make so I was gonna take one of these out. Not sure what they do. Sag mill, sag mill, should be an alloy smelter here somewhere. Right. So I should build a wall or something up round here. And decide. It's an alloy smelter. There's the sag mill, and there's the vat, but I'll try to have a look, see what we can do with that. And then hopefully, where they go? back up I think I might have to put some elevators or something in around old places around there different colour ones I right, got to put capacitors in have we all three of them basics maybe in those no power kidding me now that's going up why is that one not then? And that one is. Yeah, there we go. Right, so I'll have... Um, it's been a long time since I played Ender IO, so I'll have to have a look and see what um, all of this stuff can make us. So, well, we're about 25 minutes on that one. 
which I think I'll probably do to be honest. We've got set up with this, we've got power set up and we've had a good look around the base. And I'll, um, oh I've found these cover things to go in here. See if we've got any rare ones. Let's open up some rare ones. See, uh, yeah, they're pretty rubbish to be honest. I want what I want is some um, end stone. I think I've got all that. Anyway, kind of. Um, just repeats after a while, so your ones aren't too bad because I've got a few things that I um, sponge. I don't know what to use that for then. You might. Know, pop it off for a while a chisel block gone in there so yeah that one's got the thing under there for picking it up I might change this actually for a um, redstone thing redstone redstone where are you I did see it oh uh, yeah for one of these a wireless transmitter and then we can be able to turn it on and off um, from uh, wherever we want. Tracker. Yeah. I mean these blaze rods, which is why I um, opted for the nether. So, yeah, see how much power that kicks out. And I may well... Um, Put four of them up. So I don't know whether that is a lot of power or not, really. There's quite a lot of them, isn't there? <laughs> um, but we want them whizzing up. All right, then, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will um, get organised for the next one. So thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye.